Hey there, I'm Roz Weston. Now, Vanity Fair takes a stand and says Scientology is much more than just a church. It's actually a hardcore dating service for Tom Cruise. Now, Tom denies it, of course, but now an Oscar winner says the mag is bang on. This is the woman who is reportedly in line to be the next Mrs. Tom Cruise before Katie Holmes came along. Her name is Nazanin Boniati, a little-known actress who was already a member of the Church of Scientology when she was approached for a special mission back in 2004. The article claims she went through auditing, which is a Scientology's process where subjects revealed their innermost thoughts so the church could determine if she was the perfect match for Tom. But Vanity Fair claims within three months, Tom grew tired of Nazanin after she reportedly disrespected Scientology chief David Miscovich. The church then broke up the relationship and sent her to a center in Florida. There, she was punished by being told she had to scrub toilets, clean bathroom tiles with acid, and dig ditches in the middle of the night. A Scientology spokesperson denies the allegations, saying this story's been around for years, spread by anti-Scientologists. Today, Tom Cruise's rep responded, Lies in a different font are still lies, designed to sell magazines. And you can't deny Vanity Fair is trying to sell magazines. Using a stock photo of Katie Holmes on the cover and the headline that reads, What Katie Didn't Know, Marriage, Scientology Style. Plus, all parties involved declined to be interviewed for the special report. But Crash director Paul Haggis is backing the cover story, saying, Naz was embarrassed by her unwitting involvement in this incident and never wanted it to come out, so I kept silent. However, I was deeply disturbed by how the highest ranking members of a church could so easily justify using one of their members. How they so callously punished her and then so effectively silenced her when it was done. Continuing, Naz quietly and privately resigned from the church a couple of years ago after several years of trying to handle this injustice internally to no avail. Of course, just as the headline spread, Tom and Katie were both spotted out this weekend. Tom in Croatia, hanging out with fans and friends, the same place he went after his breakup with Penelope Cruz. Meanwhile, headlines in New York claim Katie Holmes has a new man. But it turns out the man in question was actually her friend Jeremy Strong, her co-star from The Romantics. And if you want to see more, don't forget to tune in to ET Canada Weeknights on Global.